The moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. Our black stone is finally here. Now we just gotta open it up and put it together. <laughs> Hopefully it's not here damaged. It's the Hopefully it's not damaged. Struggling. It's a little heavy. There's my maintenance man. <laughs> I thought you stop recording. No, I didn't stop recording. I want him to see this beautiful situation. I haven't even unpacked the camper yet, but we're going to put our grill together. That looks like it's not damaged, right? That looks fine. That's what we needed, more cardboard. So we ended up going with the 22 inch black stone, um, that was actually a kit, came with the stand and the top, and then of course we ordered a um, set of tools to go with it as well. We didn't have the patience to wait on the sale again like we saw for early March. Yeah. They ran this thing, stand and all, for $99 at Walmart. Mm-hmm. And we missed one, it. one, they'll run it again apparently. Crazy coupon lady was the site I saw it. She was the only one that, that had it confirmed it. I'm making something with the carpet. You'll never get It's definitely not light. <laughs> Ew. Carrying it 300 feet from the end of the driveway on my shoulder. Looks so stupid, too. Look at that. <laughs> But you looked pretty doing it. I did. That's all that matters. Yep. Aubrey, you building something down there? That's what she said. Okay, so we're gonna work on this and we'll get back to you when we're closer to the finish you want line. To show what you got? Oh, okay. Here. I'll show you. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to cook on it. All right, let's see what Aubrey's building. What are you building, Aubrey? A castle. All right, so I'm gonna let my maintenance man get back to it here, and we'll come back when we're closer to being done. It's more like a city than a ranch. Oh, she's got a city. Okay, say bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm Christy. I'm Jason. I'm Ariella. And this is Cecilia. And we are... I, I Want to camp, camp With You. you. What'd that take? 20 minutes? Maybe? If it, it wouldn't 20, have been. 20 minutes ago. You don't need promoter. It motor. wouldn't have been 15 if I'd have opened the instructions. <laughs> and they didn't sort me out a lock washer. Yeah, we were shorted out a lock washer, so Jason had to go find that in the van. Oh, um, me and Cece have a fake cardboard surfboard down there. Okay. I'm going to make a little boat right here. You want to see it? Okay, yep. Yeah, put okay. Jerry's surfboard over here. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. Looking pretty nice. Very nice. We have to season it before I can cook on it. Comes with the stand, as you can see. to season it properly so I don't ruin this beautiful grill griddle and uh, I'll record that I guess too to show you that so we're gonna start
start this seasoning process of our new black stone that we showed you. Uh, first it says I need to wipe it with clean, warm, soapy water. So I'm going to do that first. They did want you to know that this is the only time you'll use soap on this thing. You're not supposed to use soap any other time. You just use water to clean it um, any other time. So after you do that, you just make sure you wipe it down, make sure it's free of debris. And then they want you to turn the burners on. And you want to put them on high, it says. Okay, and you're going to leave them on high for 10 to 15 minutes before we put the oil on we're about halfway through the heating process. It's starting to change a little color. And you can kind of smell the, I guess, I don't know. The soil, they said it was on there. Soil. That's what they said. Um, they treat it with that from the uh, back so you can kind of start to smell that burn off a little bit. Never mind the grass. We've been camping, so. Yeah, no, no one mows around here. <laughs> we'll get to that tomorrow. Um, this was way more important to do today. She's picking on my grass. Look at her garden. <laughs> Stop. Listen, I have to weed my garden tomorrow, too. <laughs> That's just my herb garden. My other garden is even worse. Okay, it's been heating on high for about 10-15 minutes. It says to put the oil on it. We're using Crisco oil. They say you can use any type of oil. It really doesn't matter. Um, we just use this to season our cast iron pot, so we're going to do it with this as well. It says for this size, we're going to use a tablespoon of oil. We're going to let it melt a little bit, rub it around with the paper towel, and then wait for it to smoke. Um, the smoke clear, that means that we're all set to let it go, and then we got to do it two or three more times. Oh my gosh. It's so high. It's so high. Alright. How about that level? Oh Okay, so we've got it all covered. Uh, we did the sides, the whole griddle top, the corners, made sure to get everything, Crisco and all of it. As you can see, it's smoking. Um, it says to let it smoke for a little bit until the smoke clears, and then we got to repeat the step two or three times. And just so we're clear, um, I did start with the tablespoon of oil, but we actually ended up putting quite a bit more on there. Um, we, like I said, we've done our cast iron pots this way and you need substantially more than that. You don't necessarily want it to puddle, but you do want to be able to liberally coat it um, so it gets properly seasoned in all the cracks and corners and all that stuff. Um, and like I said, it takes a bit more than a tablespoon, so kind of just go at your discretion. Um, worst that can happen is you just wipe it off. Okay, so it just stopped smoking. It's been about 20 minutes, so we're going to repeat the process again by putting a little bit more of the Crisco on it, rubbing it around, making sure we get all the surfaces, let it smoke again, and then go through it again. No, Cece, that's King of Crabs Okay, so it's been 17 minutes, it stopped smoking again, we're going to put it on again and rub it around and let it start smoking again. Um, the second and third time I am using about a tablespoon, probably a little bit more. Uh, the first time just takes a little bit more than that. Right out the back. still smoking but I do want to let you know this time we did close the lid because we noticed the back wasn't really getting um, browned up. This will actually be the fourth time, sorry. Um, but the, the back wasn't getting done because the heat wasn't staying there. So we are keeping the lid closed this time and it seems to be doing the job much better. Okay, it looks like we are about done. It's stopping smoking. It's turned a nice black color. I think we're going to try and cook some burgers on it tonight um, and that'll help season it some more. 
spot right now I'd say it's probably closer to six times that we did it um, because we did put it on wipe it around I let it do whatever and then I saw that there were puddles in the corners so when there were puddles in the corners I kind of just wiped it back over it um, so I'd say yeah it's probably closer to seasoning it six times and it is a timely process you know it, it, it takes some time and it's tiring whatever grab a drink sit by it season it properly and it'll save you some time in the future use the large tank don't use a small tank yeah when you're doing this start step um, but yeah if you take the time to do it now it'll be easier to clean up in the future it'll cook better all your food will taste better and as Jason said it'll give you some CC that's what he's calling it he's calling it camp crown credit kind of like you know the letters on your car make it go fast faster this will give you some campground credit <laughs> Stickers in your windows. Oh, stickers in the windows make your car go faster. Sorry. Mm. So this gives you some campground cred. Having a nice black stone that's seasoned properly. People are going to get jealous when you start grilling up your stuff. But yeah, it looks good. Hopefully our dinner will be good. We'll get back to you on that. Wait, hamburgers on this tonight? I thought we were going to do on that tonight. Well, we're going to try it on this since we've seasoned it properly already. Well, Bella. maybe... We can cook out more when we're here and I'll not at campsites. Now. Say bye to the campers. They're tired of watching Say this video. Them tell, tell them what they need to do if they want to get notifications. Bye. Hit that bell. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I've grilled up some burgers and hot dogs. Don't judge me. They're frozen burgers from the local butcher. Like I said, we just got back from camping and nothing was thawed. So this is the best we could do. But it seems to have done a good job. The back obviously is a little bit cooler just the way the burners are set up. But overall it's cooking really well. It's seasoned really well as you can see. And it smells super good. I wish you could smell this. It smells pretty good on this grill better than this grill. It kind of smells different too. <laughs> so it's done really well, and yeah. we will let Wayne you know. Around. Yeah. Smell yeah. What the Do you rock smell what the rocks are doing? <laughs> <laughs> we will let you know how it tastes. Yeah. And at mm. dinner time, maybe, maybe we can talk for a little bit on the couch. No. <laughs> Here it is. How's it taste? Better than when you cook on that grill. <laughs> For real. There it is, folks. She says it's better than the real grill. <laughs> Daddy didn't try his yet. She smelled it cooking and was like, mmm, that smells good. <laughs> All right. So, our first test on the Blackstone. Excellent. Hope you yeah. enjoyed watching. We'll see you soon, campers. And what you have to do before, I mean, what we have to do is what, Mommy? Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, campers, we're trying hibachi on the Blackstone griddle tonight. It smells delicious. Looks like it'll taste good. Not exactly how I wanted it to turn out, but for my first try, it seems like it's pretty good. We shall see. That was our taste tester yep. for our hibachi dinner on our black stone griddle. Um, we already said grace, so I'm going to try it out. What's first? Noodles? Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Shrimp? <laughs> Broccoli? Mm. Better than the broccoli. Yeah, so okay, don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> and rice. Mm. Pretty good. All <laughs> right, so you heard it here, folks. It was pretty good for I my think, first time. I think the broccoli is the best thing I ever tasted, and the shrimp. Okay. And the noodles, too. Bye bye, the rice campers. Too. All of it. Bye. Hey, campers, if you haven't subscribed yet, Please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.